Splice and Dinjo treating you well? You know I'm here if you ever need anything. Oh, Yang Yang, what's there to be shy about? If you want to see Rover, just tell him. So, what have you been up to these past few days? Feeling lonely without us around? Wanna go see some fireworks? I how about some moon shooting? With a festival just around the corner, there's a really cool spot we can take you to. Yes, it'll be the moon chasing festival in a few days. Though we celebrate this festival every year in Huanglong, given everything that has happened, this year's moon chasing festival in Jinzhou is sure to be quite special. Yeah, I caught them hanging lanterns all around City Hall. Every street and alley is gonna be glowing. I can't wait to see it all lit up. And we've got special Jinjo traditions you won't find anywhere else. Like tell you and Vale. Folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper. Then hang them on branches or toss them into Moon Tree Lodge. They say wishes made during these days are sure to come true. Works like a charm. Wanna give it a go? All you gotta do is write down your wish, real simple. Yang Yang, Baija, and I are already here. Great! See you at Taoyuan Vale! you're out there? Rover's wild adventures! Come on, let us in on it! So, so you mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no, wait! That shocked all of Huanglong? Was all because of you? Rover <sighs> saves the day yet again! With the Thranodian defeated, our Sentinel and the Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. While there's still much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At long last! We can finally have some fun! Hey, what better time to celebrate than the Moon Chasing Festival, right? You, me, Yan Yang, and Baicha, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chincho, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect view. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Then it's a deal. Mark my words, with us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. Shoot, we got so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal, you won't want to miss it. That's right. Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially...
especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. A few years ago, Jinjo had endless rain. Yang Yang wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. The Moon Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. Maybe there's something to the Wishing Tree's magic after all. Maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the Wishing Tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You saved the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Plays, I'm out. All right. Better get to it before we chatter ourselves away again. The wishing tree is just up ahead. Off you go. We've already made our wishes. Mine's for the moonlit fair to draw in a huge crowd and for everyone to have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. She, uh, eh, she's not really into wishes. Don't mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There! You're the last one left. Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. to eat. Mm. I don't ever want to be hungry again. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. Well, what did Abby say? Well, after you finished at the wishing tree, come see us at the Moonlit Fair. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> I'll be over at Ching Shi's moon shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. Seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. 
Uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its parts must be broken. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof. <laughs> Before you know it, someone makes them come true. You can even say it's part of the wishing tree, but wishes made at the lodge are more public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your search. The Moon Tree Lodge. Might as well drop by if it's at the wishing tree. Gotcha. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Xiang Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics number 231. Onboard diagnostics failed. Feltering wishes. Beep, beep. Waiting for a brighter future. Glory on the battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep, beep. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. 12. Correction, four. Wishes and solutions. Could this relate to what Shisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? And Xiang Li Yao, the name sounds familiar. Perhaps. Isolating abnormal data, running data correction, there. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for returning him to me. Well, um, I'd appreciate it if you'd call me by my name instead of Principal Investigator. Xiang Li Yao, a pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle of the Norfall Barons. This year's moon-chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. I'm afraid I'm not the owner of the Moon Tree Lodge. I'm just here to assist, collecting and trying to fulfill everyone's wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. <laughs> Th 
Thank you for understanding. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy, what will you taste like, important guest? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Welcome. I, I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish, and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. I see. Why don't you take a tour around the Vale? Jinjo is filled with festivities during this time, and losing yourself in the crowds could very well bring your wish into sharper focus. Speaking from my own experience, of course. Feel free to do as you like. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes, pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning. It does have its challenges, but everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. I don't intend to let them down. Yes, Yang Yang and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Well then, the Moon Tree Lodge welcomes its newest member. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Chanli Yao, and Patty. Wishes come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Yes, the lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair, but it still remains an important element of the festivities. 
The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. Academy. <sighs> Initiating analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world, indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be erased. Feasibility. Zero percent. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. Uh, this is Shang Li, Paddy's work buddy. Paddy gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. Shang Li is the first prototype of its series, and we used to call it by its serial number. My colleagues at the Academy began calling it Little Shang Li out of convenience, and over time, it became the name we use now. <laughs> well, it seems to like this name a lot, so consider it a birthday gift from everyone at the Academy. Analysis Conclusion the wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies, indicating a high level of danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot hurt humans. Just as I've suspected. This is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Paddy's underlying logic of not being able to harm humans. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content, while words may harbor meanings deeper than they seem on the surface. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him. Which means he's... Yes, I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Yes, I hope it will.
We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Shaosheng at the Academy, so it's likely a pseudonym. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. Seems to be some kind of code. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Investigator Shang Li, we have a problem. We've got trouble in the lab. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. Lock down the lab. I'm on my way. What about the experiment locks? Already sent to your terminal, sir. All right. Tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. There's been a momentary setback in the research. I need to handle it right away. I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiaosheng to you. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Xiang Li with you to help with the investigation. I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Good luck, my friend. to possess information related to Xiaosheng. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiaosheng is likely introverted and may exhibit nervousness in public settings, difficulty in communication, and a preference for solitary activities. These characteristics match this individual's behavior. A definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master requests that Shang Li avoid making judgments about humans solely based on their external appearances. According to my data analysis, there is a 25.4% correlation between these two individuals. Shang Li proposes you make the decision on whether to proceed. at a distance once they've walked away. and a significant drop in air pressure. Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few hours, covering 60% of the Jinjo area. Um, uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm so 
sorry. I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers, that's all. M my name is Jiaqi. Um, nice to meet you? Sorry. Wait, hold on. It's not the due date for the Sounds of Spring's Dawn yet. Do you mean to tell me they're changing the requirements again? Speculation. The Shaosheng mentioned by both parties does not appear to be the same individual. <laughs> um, excuse me, but is something wrong? Well, someone who goes by the name Xiao Sheng? Maybe a shy researcher? of anyone by that name. Sorry, I couldn't help. I, I don't have a wide social circle, mostly just my painting clients. But I'll let you know if I do. You're welcome. I, uh, I'll be on my way then. Goodbye. Individual showed no signs of abnormalities when mentioning the name Xiao Sheng. Might as well ask another researcher. Detected. Individual meeting search criteria. Analyzing target identity. Researcher of the Department of Laboratory Evaluation, Huashu Academy. Suggested topics of inquiry, Shaosheng, or work stress. Work stress? Rest assured, when discussing heavier topics, I will employ a light and humorous inquiry method. Been tossing and turning all week. Can't switch off these thoughts at night. I can't take it any longer. Been scrolling through the forums lately? There's this thing blowing up called Nighttime Blue Syndrome on the Hawashu Hive. Definition of noun. Nighttime Blues Syndrome. A popular term used to describe the state of today's youth that have lost their enthusiasm towards life due to excessive work and life stress. Symptoms include avoiding social engagements, reluctance to work, insomnia, and signs of depression. Further analysis reveals an 87% correlation between the syndrome's traits and the emotional state of Xiaosheng, inferred from the wish made at the time. A few colleagues from other departments even used it as an excuse to ask for leave yesterday. They wrote, The world is such a wonderful place, filled with different kinds of sadness to experience each day. Ugh, lucky bastards. Taking time off whenever they want. And look at us, sweating bullets over research with no results in sight. How are we supposed to sleep? Is that the latest thing? You know, I don't usually visit those forums, but... all this term... Maybe it's because everyone's feeling the pressure lately. Relax, take some time off. You can leave the rest of your work to me. Don't let it get into your head. Smile, and everything will be a-okay. <laughs> you sure are optimistic at a time like this. 
need to pass out for a while. She's all yours. Um, hello? Are you listening to our conversation the whole time? Anything I can help you with? Wait a second, it's you, isn't it? The one who sucked in a tacit discord with your bare hands. I didn't expect to meet you at a place like this. Are you here for something? Is it about the monsters? Or, or maybe... Ex um, no, never mind. Xiao Sheng. <laughs> Pretty average name, if you ask me. But I've never heard of anyone with that name at the Academy. Can you... provide any extra information? Uh, uh, maybe I can help you find him. Searching Nighttime Blues Syndrome and Xiaosheng as keywords. There are 417 relevant results found. Search results consist of forum posts made under the username Xiaosheng. Example result. Another day today. Wait a minute. Analyzing someone's online behavior without their consent is a violation of robotics protocols. Searching protocol confirmed. Violation of protocol detected. Shangli, I'm sorry. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Apologies. <laughs> oh, well, its creator gave it some good features. It's fine. But do you mind me asking, why are you looking for Xiao Sheng in the first place? This question involves the individual's privacy. We are unable to disclose any details to those not directly involved. I understand. Uh, speaking of which, this robot looks rather familiar. Could it be from the Moon Tree Lodge by any chance? Ah, got it, got it. Hmm. It's almost time to set up the centrifuge. I need to make my way back and check on the samples. No information was obtained regarding Xiao Sheng's identity. Acquired new keyword. Yes. We can always check the forums for any updates later. Now then, let's try our luck somewhere else. Attention. During our conversation with Shifan, another researcher was detected within close proximity. The individual has been eavesdropping on our conversation up until this moment. Eavesdropping? Wait a minute. Uploading the researcher's location to your terminal. Finally, some useful information for once. Cheng Li is always useful. Oh, you found me. I was just about to come talk to you anyway. You were eavesdropping on our conversation. Please explain your behavior. Sorry about that, but, but I had a good reason for doing it. I can help you with the person you're looking for. You want to help him fulfill the wish he submitted with a pseudonym, but you don't know his real identity. Please don't take this the wrong way. My name is Zhou Li. Xiao Sheng's my friend, and I know who he really is. And as a matter of fact, you've already met him. Precisely. So, you already guessed it. He probably realized who you were as well. Explains why he made up an excuse and left in a hurry. <sighs> Still running away from his problems by the looks of it. I was just as surprised as you were when I first found out that Xiao Sheng was actually Shifan. The two of us grew up together, went to school together, and entered the academy together. He's always been the center of attention, easygoing, always fitting in effortlessly. But at some point in time, he, he started writing these negative posts on the forums. It didn't take me long to figure out Xiao Sheng was him. I know his writing style too well. Every time I asked him, he'd always wriggle his way out of it, and... He started distancing himself from me, and even transferred himself to another project team. Oh, that's from an accident during an experiment involving Echoes a while back. 
It wasn't too bad, but it did leave a few symptoms. I haven't been able to operate any precision instruments since then. At first, I thought that maybe Shifan started distancing himself from me because I couldn't continue to work on his project anymore. But deep down, I knew he was not that kind of person. So I have a request. I want to know what kind of wish he made, and if possible, I want to help make it come true. I want to know what happened to him. The integrity of Joe Lee's information is estimated to be at around 99%. In order to fulfill the wish, providing relevant information is recommended. So that's how it is. Is he blaming himself for my injury? But that's not true. I've never felt that way. He wrote that wish, but he's still the man he was before. He still smiles and comforts others and helps people whenever they're in a difficult spot, which makes me feel even more worried for him. Thank you for telling me all this. I'm afraid Shifan and I aren't on talking terms at the moment, but maybe he'll listen to you. He's been fascinated by Echoes ever since he was a child. Echo-related research was all he'd been working on before he left our project. He loves Echoes so much. And now, he's given up on it completely. I think this might be a good place to start to have him open up to you. Please, if you find out what his wish is, be sure to let me know. Hi there. How are things on your end? Transferring progress, Log. Transfer complete. Fantastic. It appears everything has been going smoothly. Long story short, I've managed to decipher the code from earlier. It's Echoes. The code mentions three Echo sample data sets Shifan once needed for his research. According to the Academy's archives, his research partner, Joe Lee, had an accident while searching for these Echoes. Shifan shut down the project shortly after. I hope this data can be of help to you. Once I've wrapped up here at the Academy, I'll meet you as soon as I can. Well then, it's time to look for some Echoes. Transmission is normal? Yes, that's everything. It's one of Shan Li's features. I can join you on your travels this way. I'll remotely control Shan Li, ensuring our audio-visual and movement modules are in sync to keep our communications seamless. It's our quickest way to connect. Plus, I suspect Shifan might find it difficult to open up in front of a colleague from the Academy. So, without further ado, let's be on our way. Back again. Uh, no luck finding Xiao Shang. What do you mean? This this is echo testing data. What are you planning on doing with Wait, where did you get this data? Shang-Li and the rover are researching Echoes, but have hit a dead end. 
They heard that Mr. Shifan is an expert in this particular field and are seeking his help. That was a long time ago. Oh, very well. What do you want to know? The data you gave me is packed with motion values. I would start by understanding how the Echo adapts to different geographies. And these numbers... If we cross-reference them with standard values, the fitting coefficient nearly hits one. It looks like your model's direction might be on track. Oh... The more I look at this data, the more I think... Had it reached me earlier, things might have been different. This data... How much do you want for it? I'll pay anything. No. Even with this, I can't do it on my own. What... what do you mean? You have always had regrets, both for your friend and for your Echo research. I... I don't get your meaning. There was a serious accident during the experiment, and I was the one who shut it down. How could I... <coughs> we saw the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, but it seems that may not be what you truly wish for. Your true wish is to continue your research of Echoes with the one and only friend who understands your passion. Is this correct? <laughs> I never thought my wish would actually be heard. You're right. I am Xiao Sheng, The loser who spends his nights complaining in bed. A washed up expert. I worked hard to get myself into the academy. My best friend was a real genius, and I was just an ordinary person who had to work my ass off in order to catch up with him. We promised to push the boundaries in Echo Research. I always believed we could produce groundbreaking results, maybe even touch the essence of the lament through our research. But due to my carelessness, he lost his chance to walk through that door completely. Yet, my stubbornness in continuing the experiment without adequate samples led to irreversible harm to my friend. I chose to continue the testing. That's why he missed the window for treatment. Not once did I visit him during the final test periods. And I was the only one left on the project. It wasn't a surprise the experiment failed in the end. It wasn't until I sat alone in the empty lab that I realized... Maybe everything I sacrificed... Even my friend's future... Was all for nothing. I had hurt my friend, given up on a career, and worked on something I wasn't actually interested in. But when I lie in bed awake at night, I feel regret all over again. I know I can't give up Echo Research. My obsession torments me, but I don't deserve to pursue it anymore. Oh, obsession. I've heard enough! Pull yourself together already! Jolie, where did you... I'll tell you right now, I never blamed you for what happened. I felt the same as you right from the start. On our path of pursuing new discoveries, I was willing to pay any price. What I don't accept is you calling quits halfway. But... I'm not... 
done yet. Okay. It blows my mind that this is why you stopped talking to me. And while I'm at it, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. You get in the habit of running away from any problems you face that are non-research related. I'm... I'm sorry. It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in research. It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. This in turn indicates that Shaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. Yes, there are more wishes to decipher. Now, we should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Hello. I hope you've been well. Remember how I mentioned that the stall vendors at the Moonlit Fair will adjust their offerings based on everyone's wishes? Based on the wishes we've received so far, I've thought of a few excellent themes. Maybe we can start preparing for them. Choose. Uh, this wish does bear some similarities to the one written by Shifan. This shows that, just like Shifan, the woman who wrote this wish is desperate for help. We need to consider this carefully. Indeed, the wish shows a struggle between her longing and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away, leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. We can't draw a conclusion solely based on words alone. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Her Aang and her son. What's their story? What promise did they share? What is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. It's just that, is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, it might... So that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned, but... The Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring people's pain isn't right. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. Ultimately, the choice lies in Mrs. Herring's hands, but it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task.
Excuse me? You must be Mrs. Herting? Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jinzhou, aren't you? Defeated that terrible beast. Everyone's been talking about it. My thanks to you. You've realized my son's vision. Oh, how joyful he'd be seeing Jinjo now. Since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinjo. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day, so everyone can live peacefully. That's what drove him to join the Midnight Rangers. Huh, yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. He never stopped striving. Once, he and some Rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... But now he's gone. And he'll never witness the defeat of the Thranodians. I just... Oh. We used to celebrate every moon-chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now, the silence is overwhelming. I can't help but wonder if... if he's lonely wherever he is. Oh, perhaps I should join him. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. What am I to do? Oh, dear. I've rambled on about my boy again. What brings you here today, dear? Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. I see. You must have been sent here to help me fulfill my wish. Is that right? You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads, unable to decide. I hope the Moon Tree Lodge can clear my doubts. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree Lodge. Oh, yes, absolutely. Mrs. Her Ing, might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Taoyuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. Perhaps a walk will lift your spirits. A walk? My heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. And, well, my legs don't carry me as well as they used to. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The promise between Mrs. Herting and her son wasn't just about seeing his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life, in her grief. 
Mrs. Helling overlooked what her son truly wished for. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Cernodian, and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see. A reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Come on, I'm waiting on you. This year's moon chasing festival sure is lively. Indeed it is. Look at the crowd. Oh, so many things I've never seen before. It's quite exciting. You young folks must be thrilled with all this. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Don't mind this old lady. Mrs. Helling has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Tao Yuan Vale. Let's take her to see more of the fair. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Would you like to browse our fan paintings? This one is exquisite. Just look at the fireworks bursting to life on the fan. I've never seen anything like it. You have excellent taste, Mum. This fan is the creation of Ms. Jujia. It's the moon chasing festival from her imagination. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. And these capes. Ah, oh, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special touch from Ms. Jujia. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the moon chasing festival. And remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave rangers. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fans. Oh my, Taoyuan Vale hasn't been this. Ah, the Moon Shooter Gallery. My son was so good. Every year at the Moonlit Fair, it was his favorite. Mrs. Her. <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone. Want to give the Moon Shooter game a try? Lots of rewards to be had. Here are your prizes. These prizes? Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the Rangers. We've now improved them to help even more people. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shouyuan would want you to have them. And you are... You might not remember, but after Shouyuan passed, I tried to visit you. 
You didn't want to see me then. I never expected we'd meet here. It's good to see you out and about. Shouyuan always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Shouyuan are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Hoeing. Shoyuan was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. I'd love to hear more stories about Show Yuen's time with the Rangers. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? We've got plenty of stories to share with you. Before that, thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more on my own. I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you, both. Do you think Mrs. Hulling understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. She's searching for the life her son wanted for her. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice, without relying on the Moon Tree Lodge. But it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Care to explore further? written this time. Again, I'm so over this cheesy old play. There are way better ones. Come on, switch it up. What about Rainbow Mirror? I'll be Flame Ranger. You be a psychic being controlled by the monsters. No way. Why do I always have to be the one getting beat up? I don't want to play the bad guy. We pinky sweared last time, remember? If I don't get to play as Flame Ranger, I'm not playing with you anymore. All right, all right. Let me think. Then let's do Deep Sea Rescue. You can be Flame Ranger, and I'll be the sidekick. That good enough for ya? Oh, I see what you're up to, Momo. Trying to trick me again. In Deep Sea Rescue, the Flame Ranger falls into the villain's trap and gets beat up at the start. So I'll still be the one getting whacked. <laughs> I 
gonna tell Mon if you keep doing this. Wait till he comes back. He'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Cha, you think telling Mon is gonna help you? With him around, you'll never get the chance to be Flame Ranger. <laughs> At least I won't get beat up by you all the time. Hey, where did this weird grown-up with a flying bunny come from? Mom's not here. I'm in charge. Want to play with us? Okay? Then you can be a monster. Detected. New name entry. Bunny. Processing speed increased to 150%. Processor temperature 90 degrees, 91 degrees, 92 degrees. I'm here, don't worry. I'm overriding Shang Li's processor. One moment, please. Recorded. New name entry. Bunny. Phew! I almost wet my pants. So, you're looking for Mom, huh? He's not here right now, but if it's important, you can tell me, and I'll pass it on to him, word for word. <laughs> Lee's being a show-off again. We haven't seen Mon for days. No way you can tell him anything. Not true. We're doing one of his favorite plays tomorrow. He'll definitely show up. We did a play yesterday and one before that. I don't remember him showing up. Where was he? Uh... No, you suck, Momo! <laughs> oh, we usually play together in the city or watch hero plays at the theater? Oh, and we have a secret base. Detected. Keyword, secret base. Mm, Mon says it's top secret and we can't tell anyone. What? Really? Um, he did mention before that there's this flame power growing inside of him, and he's about to become a great hero, just like Flame Ranger. Well, I guess you don't look like a bad person, so... If you do find him, please don't tell him I told you about the secret base. Oh, oh, and remember to tell him to come back and play with us soon. Stay sure. from that TD, so... All right, you can be the only grown-up that I tell. <clears throat> I, Mon, 
am about to awaken my forte. Well, you know, in the hero plays, every great hero is a resonator with their own unique super cool forte. Some of them are born with it. And some have to journey to distant mountains and secret caves to train all alone. And then, after years of training, a tacit mark finally appears. Forte Awaken! <laughs> That's my favorite part. That's why I've been eating all my veggies and going to bed early lately. I want to be ready to spend the whole day at this secret base, training. I try to practice every move I can think of from the plays, hoping my forte will awaken soon. Oh, I've been so busy, I haven't even watched any hero plays lately. Um, not really. But I've come up with a new plan. You know how Flame Ranger gets stronger the more danger he's in? They call it a forte boost. So I thought, why not find a scary monster and try to fight it? Uh, <laughs> that was an accident. I've no idea where it came from. If I'm gonna be a great hero, I have to find an enemy that's even stronger than a TD. But, but, ugh. Oh. Then you tell me, what should I do to awaken my forte? Absolutely, it's a must. Every hero in the plays is a resonator with a forte. Becoming a hero means I can protect all my friends. None of us will ever need to be scared again. Besides, being a hero is just the coolest. Every hero play, all my friends cheer like crazy for Flame Ranger. I don't plan on being the lame sidekick. No way. If you know so much about it, then what should I do? Tell me, tell me! Oh, you sound like my mom. Come on, don't treat me like I'm just some kid. I do know a few warriors. They know firsthand what it means to be a hero. What if I write down some of their quests and daring feats for you? Real heroes, real stories. It might give you some ideas. Wow, really? Are they even more awesome than the heroes in the plays? When will you show me these stories? I want Lee and Momo to see them too. Time, location, event, notification, the Moonlit Fair. The Moonlit Fair, right in the middle of the festival. It would be the perfect draw for the children in Jinjo. Thankfully, I've still got some time to get everything ready for Mon's wish before it starts. How about this? The Moonlit Fair on the day of the Moon Chasing Festival. I'll have the stories with me. Pinky promise? Yes! It's a pinky promise then! Can't wait to see you there! I happened to catch the boy's wish. He aspires to heroism, a feat of spirit that humbles even a grown man like myself. His wish comes from a place of real valor and sincerity. However, he wishes to become a hero by awakening his forte. Awakening Forte is an intricate process, and the disparity between a resonator and an ordinary person's abilities is significant. In our current time frame, I must confess, the Academy's current research in this domain is rather limited. If we are to approach it from this angle, I'm afraid I may not be able to help the boy much, at least before the Moonlit Fair arrives. I concur. 
Thinking back on a few scenes from the hero plays, Flame Ranger did not rely solely on his forte and abilities to achieve his heroic feats. Courage, perseverance, and support from his companions were all indispensable elements. Your idea of finding a real-life role model to show the boy a more grounded version of heroism is indeed a viable approach. So, have you decided who this hero should be? A fine suggestion. I have always admired General Jian. However, any form of recording involving the Midnight Rangers would require prior clearance. With the moonlit fair on the horizon, time may not allow it. Actually, the person I have in mind embodies courage, perseverance, and leadership with steadfast companions who would stand by him, never backing down even in the face of powerful enemies. There's no need to look far. You are the most suitable candidate. Your actions alone in saving Jinjo have earned you the title of hero. A true hero is defined not by grand gestures, but by their actions. Authenticity is key. Just chronicle your daily life and let your true self shine through. The Pangu Terminal can record your daily activities. Before you begin, I'll make some enhancements to provide you with additional assistance. Thank you for your hard work so far. It will take some time to analyze the fourth wish. I'll contact you after it's complete. The Moonlit Fair is approaching. I hope that all the wishes in the Moon Tree Lodge will soon come true. Hello? What's up, Chisha? Hey, Rover! You've been to the Wishing Tree, right? What did you wish for? Did it come true? Oh, wait. It can't be that fast. Just leave it here, Chusia. Gotcha! Still busy with the preparations? Almost finished! It's crazy here with all these people bustling around. You hear the buzz from our side? I need to double check the procedure. Hmm? Did I just see Madame Magistrate? Was it just me? Sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. Uh, I should have just stayed home to avoid causing trouble. Pretty hectic, isn't it? Indeed. Everyone's really giving their all for this year's moon chasing festival. And the Loom Dance performance is happening tonight. Come and watch it with us, Rover. I've secured the best seats. Hooray! That settled them. We'll be waiting for you then. Before we hang up, anything you want to say to Rover, Ying Yang? Me? Uh, but I'm not ready. Okay, um... Uh... How are you doing today, Rover? I'm looking forward to enjoying the Moonlit Fair with you tonight. And you, Baja? Uh... Please, come early if possible. People have been preparing for the Moonlit Fair for many weeks. coordinates to your terminal. See you there! Ha! Get ready to be blown away! Are we not going to that 
that restaurant then? <laughs> Let's eat there with Yang Yang and the others later. Yeah! Wait. I smell something delicious. It's the real deal for my empty tummy. I just know it. Isn't that... Hello, Rover. Can you come to the Moon Tree Lodge? Hey, are you done deciphering that fourth wish? Yes. As I suspected, Patty's malfunction was caused by something else. Understood. I'll be right there. Thank you. I'll see you in the usual spot. Hmm, more trouble to solve, eh? <laughs> Wait, didn't you just promise Yang Yang we'd hang out tonight? Yeah, I did. Let's go handle it quickly so we can still make it on time. Thank you for coming, Rover. Is that the smell of Sonoro? Patty is now a portal to a Sonoro sphere. Its built up frequencies likely resonated with something and created this. Should we alert the Midnight Rangers? But then, well, then people might think there's another TD outbreak. Uh, since a major fight has just happened, I think we should. We'll handle it ourselves. Ah. You're already planning to do so. I can tell. It's written all over your face. <laughs> yes. I've thought it through. I believe that would be the most practical solution. If the Sonoro is benign, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. And worst case scenario, if it turns malignant, you'll have no trouble handling it. I just didn't expect you to bring it up first. I guess I wasted time hesitating. You hesitated because of the name Pascar? Yes, he was a close friend of mine. He died from the Waveworn. I think... If this Sonoro Sphere is related to him, it must contain his messages for me. This is my personal request, Rover. Please help me. Sure thing. In fact, I'm also doing this for a personal reason. You are? I promised my friends we'd enjoy the Moonlit Fair together tonight. We can't let this incident ruin the festivity. <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Let's enter the Sonoro now. Like they say, you wouldn't know what's inside of Sonoro Sphere until you're actually inside it. What's happening? Uh, the Sonoro is pushing us out! Rover, here! My hand!
goodness you're awake. Hmm. I'm glad the Sonora didn't throw us out. But why us? What did we even do? Maybe it has something to do with that Pascar person. Anyway, we should find Shang Li Yao first. Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to hit your door. We're just playing cornhole here. <sighs> Please don't blame our boss. It's my bad. I threw it. No, no, no. It's my fault. I wanted to play cornhole. It, it's okay. Uh, really? You aren't angry at us? Thank you. You're so nice. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Pascar. They're Modi and Ryan. What's your name? I'm Shang Li Yao. Shang Li Yao? Jeez, you're Mrs. Shang Li Yen's son. Whoa, so you're that genius everyone's been talking about? Um. <laughs> wow! I heard you've never been second to anyone in school. Mm hmm No way! I heard you finished an entire school year's classes in one week! Mm-hmm. That's amazing! And you've solved a century-old problem for the Academy, too? Huh? Is... Is that what they've been saying about me? You're so cool! Chill, boss. You might scare him. You're just like my big sis when she meets her idol. <sighs> Shush! <clears throat> Sorry. I got ahead of myself. By the way, we're going to the Moonlit Fair. Care to join us? Are you... sure? <laughs> of course you can! We can make you the new boss, even! The... boss? Uh, yeah, like, our leader. But that's not important. The real question is... Do you want to play with us? I... Sorry, I think I'll stay at home. I must wait for my dad. Your dad? The big inventor mentioned in the headlines? Said he's gone missing. Hey, shut up! Mm. <sighs> we gotta go now. Come find us anytime you want to play. I don't like being alone. Don't know if you feel the same. Anyway, we're here, when you need to chat or someone to hang out with. Okay. Ah, oh, that looks like something from Xiang Li Yao's childhood. Hmm. Could his memories be affecting this Sonoro's frequencies? 
Maybe it's not just his memories. Stall? But the decorations don't match this year's theme. Mm, do we need to touch anything or read anything here, like we did in the last room? There are some wish tags on the floor. Let's read them. Missing a departed son, wanting to become a hero. These are the wishes of the people I've helped. There are two more wish tags. can be really sharp. Can't believe I actually got a zero. What a bummer. I'm not even in the mood for wishes now. Still upset about what happened in class? I mean, aren't we supposed to learn by doing? That's what we've been taught since day one. We know next to nothing about the wave-worn phenomena, and our equipment is useless. Shouldn't we go explore it firsthand? But how? Should we set up a lab by a waveworn site like you said in class? It's too risky. If something goes wrong, the staff won't make it. But this is the martyrdom of science, the necessary sacrifice. Like chemists who sampled unknown substances, we must risk it all for the ultimate truth. Really? Do we have to risk it all? Of course! You want food, you pay. You want pay, you work. Give something to get something. When the truth of this world, the ultimate knowledge, is on the line, one must be willing to give up everything they have. We'll discuss it later. Modi and Ryan want to catch up. How about meeting them today? I have no time. You've been avoiding them since they failed the entrance exam. It's necessary. As intellectuals, we must walk a solitary path. Those who can't keep up will only hold us back. It's best to leave them behind sooner rather than later. Why would a genius like you care about their feelings anyway? With your father as a role model, distraction should be beneath you. Come on, what if they drag you down? But I don't think we have to be lonely as intellectuals. Remember that old Moon Tree Lodge tale from a decade ago? Write a wish, hang it on the wishing tree, and presto, your wish comes true. But let's be real, there's gotta be a person running that show, because when the word got out, it just stopped working. More wishes were made, but how many actually came true? Not many. See, not even that unsung hero of the Lodge had time to grant every wish. Our time in this world is limited, so let's focus on the truth, not trivialities. Uh... Trying to organize your arguments to refute me? <laughs> Go ahead if you must, Mr. Genius. You know, I only said that because I value you as my only friend and opponent. I just don't want you to get distracted. It's not satisfying to outdo someone when they're not at their best. Well, that's enough talk for today. I'll make my wish now. Let's see. Well, Wishing Tree, please make the wave worn happen. Then I can finally study it up close. <gasps> Pascar! <laughs> 
Chill, dude. Just kidding. As an intellectual, I must prioritize my pursuit of truth. Even if it means a life of solitude, then... Father, why did I find drive shafts of your design in the Moon Tree Lodge? You were never home during moon chasing festivals. Were you busy helping other people? If that's what you did, does it mean I don't really have to be alone? <sighs> what should I do? Hey, Shang Li! What are you doing there? Come on, we gotta go now. Okay. must mean something different to him. Is that why he's running the Moon Tree Lodge after his father's passing? Is that a form of human connection too? Sort of. Are we sharing that kind of connection right now? Well, I'd say you've been haunting me. Like a ghost. Haunting? <laughs> no way. Admit it, I'm just living rent-free in your head. <laughs> sure, if you say so. Now, back to the topic. We've been seeing Pascar and Shangli Yao's past exclusively so far. So? Huh. Isn't that pretty normal in a Sonora like this? But why can't we get through the doors before Shangli Yao opens them? Huh. Strange indeed. It's almost as if he owns this place. Or maybe he holds the key. Is it similar to what Scar did to me? No, I can't tell for sure yet. Let's press on. We need to go deeper to uncover the truth. Our research has been great. Hopefully we'll keep this momentum going into the next year. With the progress we've made so far, we'll surely figure out the tacit fields one day. Well, we have Pascar and Shang Li Yao to thank. Yeah, where did Shang Li go? He's never here with us during the Moon Chasing Festival. end up back in the same place. Uh, something. Another failed experiment. When will we invest in better equipment for accurate results? This is pointless. The wave one has destroyed all our theories. There's no pattern at all. Our research has been a waste of time. It's all your fault. We need Shang Li Yao. Pasca, where is Shang Li Yao? Where the hell is he? We've circled back here. Let's look around and get out of here. Quick. I 
can't do this anymore. It's over. I'm useless. Nonsense. It's all nonsense. Countless errors. No solution. It's not me. It's them. No. It's the world. The whole world is wrong. <laughs> Where is Shang Li Yao? You're nobody compared to him, Pasca. looks even creepier. So tired. I want to disappear. Screw everything. Hey, ain't that the chiffon guy? Mm, he smells delicious. I, I mean, uh... He looks even worse than yesterday, when he wrote down his wish. The others are probably no better than him. She's been affected, too. Uh, even that granny has gone crazy. sound too depressing but if it ever comes true I have a feeling it's gonna be hella dangerous hmm I think I know who the remaining two will be science doesn't exist we knew it we knew it right from the start the wave one phenomenon defies all laws of physics. And the worst part? It's completely random. We need more data. How are we supposed to study the task field in this chaos? I knew it. We never have enough samples. Now, if we could make the wave one disasters happen more often, don't you try to stop me, cowards! You don't even have the guts to sacrifice for the truth! You all despise me, thinking I'll never surpass Yang Li Yao, right? <laughs> if this were his idea, not a single one of you would object. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm just a heartbeat away from success! Stay back! Stay away from here! His wish... achieved. He is not guilty. Must... trigger... the wave-worn... 
The tested field. Oh, he can't be serious. So he's gonna trigger the wave worn disaster like Pascar planned to? We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet. Not based on a few broken words. He's willing to go to great lengths for other people. He wouldn't want to do that. My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath! I will not let you tarnish his goal like that! Huh? It's Xiang Li Yao! He's right behind this door! But it won't budge! Then I'll smash it open. Huh? By brute force? most area of this Sonoro sphere. Sorry, Rover. I must go and face him myself. Stop hiding, Pascar. We can talk it out. Moment of resonance. 
My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. Stay back! Stay away from here! Again, I am not a ghost! The wave worn gobbled up and then spit out some weak frequencies. But this one smells... strange. Hmm. Was it affected by something else? Ascar, it's me, Xiang Li Yao. Do you recognize me? Stay back. The wave horn's coming. Stay away from here. Huh? Didn't he set it off in the first place? Calm down. We are safe here. No wave worn or tacit field around. Nothing's happening to me. See? Xiang Li Yao? Yes, I'm listening. Pascar. What do you want me to know? I should have stayed at the academy. Shouldn't have taken anything without permission. But I did it. I figured it all out. The tacit field's frequency. Made a prototype detector too. It predicts where the tacit fields are forming. I... I should have kept the documents should have informed you. I was thrilled. Blinded by the success. But then my prototype. Gone. Everything gone. The margin of error was too big. Not enough time, not enough range. When I got there, the wave worn had already... Oh. I see. So the wave one had devoured me. And the last person I saw was... You saw me. Yes. Yes, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't trigger the wave one. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And... What else? Pen! Give me a pen! I must write down my research results. I must show you. I need a pen! Hurry! Pascar. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. I identified the tacit field special frequency. I... I never hated you. I just... I wanted to save the world. It's all in vain. Now everyone must see me as the culprit. <laughs> Can't blame you. After what I said, of course you... No. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Your research has inspired many. Even attracting interest from the Black Shores that mysterious organization. They've actually sent one of their consultants to learn about the theory. Even the Black Shores. Their faces couldn't hide the shock. It was truly a sight to behold. Even I burst out laughing. We're still searching for a way to recreate your prototype, but the Pascar Spectrum theory has gained global recognition and is advancing tacit field research. Pascar... Spectrum? Yes, it's your theory. 
We named it after you. Our classmates and I, we found your notes after the Waveworn receded. After filling in the missing information, we restored this theory and named it after you. Really? Yes, and we all know it wasn't your fault. So, my research actually helped others? It did, and it will keep on benefiting people. <sighs> That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. My wish has come true. Thank you, Wishing Tree. Rover, let's witness Pascar's wish together. When I'm older, I'll be the best scientist ever. <laughs> I'll help people and everyone will love me. I'll lead the way in making lots of cool discoveries. Pascar, you've been here with us all along. Wow, so that's the real story. We've helped make four wishes come true now. <laughs> or maybe it's actually five. Five? <laughs> but we only have four wish tags here. That must be the exit. Let's get out of here first, Yao. Hey, what does you mean? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Are you all right? It's not uncommon to feel a bit queasy after leaving the Sonaro Sphere. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Given the situation is now under control, it should be fine. I will check on Patty, just to be safe. You might need some time alone to process what just happened. Uh, don't worry about me, Rover. I can handle the rest myself. It's just a quick checkup on Patty. Go join the celebration down the mountain. Remember those kids you promised to meet up with? They must be waiting for you. Besides, I need some time to prepare a small gift for you as thanks. I'll eh, catch up with you later. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. Thanks to you, Jolie and I can restart our tacit Discord research. With our past experience, I'm sure we'll get better results this time. Oh, we've been busy moving the equipment to our new lab. Uh, speaking of that, can you please clean your room? <sighs> Only been a few days and it's a mess already. Piled high with papers, devices, and take half. I can't even get in, let alone find what I need. Have you seen Xiang Li Yao's room? It's a perfect example of order out of disorder. I learned it from the genius. And you always find things no matter where I leave them. Man, <laughs> you know my room better than I do. Well, can't deny it. Yeah! Our colleagues, your show, organized this event called Swim, Gulp Huff Swim. We're here to show support. Plus, Chopin never misses tacit Discord events. <laughs> You know me, Jishou's interested in those monsters too. Should we invite her to join our research? More brains, better ideas. Let's get the creative juices flowing. Thanks. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. 
happy moon chasing festival. something else so we we followed you up the mountain and saw you chatting with someone and then poof you two just vanished into thin air and tried to ask for help but all we found was a rabbit robot mr rabbit said you're tough and we'll be okay he told us not to worry about you but come on there's no way we wouldn't worry how can people just disappear my mom said it only happens in hero place yeah, we had a plan. If anything went wrong, our boss and Momo would run super fast downhill to get help from the grown-ups. And I'll keep watch in case anything goes down. My eyes don't miss a thing. <laughs> you're welcome. Since you're safe now, can you show us the hero play you mentioned earlier? hero in this video, is that you? His name sounds so familiar. Oh, I know. Grandpa told me you are the hero who saved Jinjo. That's awesome. No wonder you beat that monster with only a few moves. You're a true hero. And the guy fighting with you is incredible. I don't recognize him, but his mecha arm looks so cool. I want to be just like you! But I don't know how to use Forte or what it takes to be a hero. Huh? Despite wanting to go to the Moonlit Fair, you chose to stay here and protect us. You walk the walk sacrificing your own enjoyment for the sake of others. This is exactly what the Flame Ranger would do. I see. Uh, are you saying that we are the Flame Rangers now? Yes. With your swift feet and keen eyes, you'd make a formidable team, ready to face any challenge. Together, just like me and my mecha arm partner. So, I'm a hero now. And I have my hero squad with Lee, Momo, and Mr. Rabbit. The Moon Tree Lodge really made my wish come true. <laughs> Thanks, Rover. Oh my, Taryun Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> no rush, child. Take a breath. What took you so long when you... Packaging. I wrapped the pastry up to keep the warmth. It'll taste better. Please, have a bite, Mrs. Hoeing. I made this myself. And this one's for you, Shang Yuin. Thank you, dear. Mr. Shou Yuan made this pastry for us during previous moon chasing festivals. Yes, I really liked it, so I asked him for the recipe. But. My son never learned to cook. When did he make this for you? He learned it in the military. At first, the food he made was, well, average, but he got better over time. He could make a feast out of even the simplest ingredients. That's how good he was. Cooking's not that hard. I can do it too. Shall I make a meal for you when I get some leave, Mrs. Herring? 
Thank you. Thank you. Shaosheng? I asked around, but... No luck. I'm so sorry for being so useless. I... I can ask more people if you want. You can pick any of my paintings as an apology. Please choose one. I insist. Really? Phew. That's good to know. I'm painting. Yeah, lots of people. I can see all of Taoyuan Veil vale from here. Um, I guess it's everyone down there. I'm not good with people, but their smiles make me feel warm inside too. It's like when I pick up a paintbrush, the warmth just spreads through me. It's stunning. No, you flatter me. It's not that good, just average. Sorry I kept you waiting, Rover. No worries. Is Patty all right? I found some unusual frequencies inside its body. Not sure if that's the Sonorosphere's influence. Out of safety concerns, I locked it up for the time being. Normally I would, but not this time, because I promised you a gift. Here, please take this. I know you're going to the Moonlit Fair. Here's a camera to capture memories for you to keep. It can be. <laughs> Maybe I should include it in the employee handbook. <laughs> Not yet. That's why I'm about to write one. I couldn't have solved this so fast without you by my side. Those wishes were their cries for help. Someone had to act fast and save them, or there could have been severe consequences. Thanks to your help, people can see their wishes come true. The fulfilled wishes bring warmth and comfort to be shared by many more. In the end, the Moon Tree Lodge kept its promise to everyone, including Pascar. What about you? What is your wish? My wish? I haven't really thought about it in a while. But I may already know the answer to your question. It's the same reason I'm taking care of the Moon Tree Lodge. I want to follow in our pioneers' footsteps. Those who forsake everything in pursuit of truth, and those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others. My parents each embodied one path. They were my role models, and I have strived to emulate them both. Their passing left me searching for answers, for a way to find balance between the two. That was why I inherited the Moon Tree Lodge. Still, I've often questioned how closely should I follow my parents' paths? Should I abandon all social connections in pursuit of the elusive ultimate truth? Like in a certain story. But in the end, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. Because Pascar found me and brought me out of my room. 
Without him, I never would have known about my father's ties to the Moon Tree Lodge. When Pascar left the Academy, I considered going with him. Perhaps we are the same kind of people after all. I wanted to give up everything for the ultimate truth, but I still craved companionship. That's why I hesitated. Seeking truth can be futile. It's like constantly pushing a boulder uphill, only for the lament to send it back down every time. In this disaster-stricken world, our beliefs, innovations, even entire societies risk falling into oblivion in an instant. Still, someone must push the boulder of curiosity and explore uncharted territories beyond that hill. I've longed to push that boulder, Rover. Perhaps one day, I'll give in to the urge, even if it means leaving everything behind. Because it's there. Hard to resist the temptation when truth feels so close. Almost within reach. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. It's all right. You can venture as far as you need to. You will always return to open arms. The way you've always tried to clear Pascar's name, how he's done his utmost to tell you the truth, that's what we call a human connection. That's why your memory worked as a key in the Sonorosphere. Have more faith in humanity. The hero who pushed the boulder of truth for us all will be remembered, and the bond between people will endure. Because we are here for you, always. Your friends are calling out to you. Go. Don't keep them waiting. They say some vendors offer discounts to people visiting together. Yes. Some of them. Well, come with me then. Make it another perk of working for the Moon Tree Lodge. Uh, but I. You have a promise to keep, remember? Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected on my behalf. Yes, I do. What's up with you two? Come on, let's go! about time. Behold, the Moonlit Fair's final show. That's the Moon Lantern! 
Burn! Come on! Let's all take a picture together! <laughs> 